Guys, I had to do it. I got scared. I have not seen a sell now order for trout since I'm pretty sure I said that in that video whenever it was. I think it was a week ago. Ever since then, trout, the highest sell now order I've seen has probably been 450,000. I think I said too, uh, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, that if he drops down to almost 400,000 sell now price, which probably means people aren't going to be willing to spend 500,000 stubs to get him, then I will definitely be selling him. And I'm not even joking, I have not seen. A sell now price for trout higher than 450,000 probably higher than this one So I mean I did play with trout for five or six games. Maybe even more than that. I think it's time To do a little bit of a spending spree just so you guys can see how many stubs I currently have That's a good amount of stubs and I'm willing to spend every last penny Every morsel. So I guess I'm gonna be buying a good amount of diamonds. I apologize too if you wanted to see Trout on the on the squad for the rest of the season, but man, whenever you can get almost 500,000 from something you got for free, that's that's hard. So I had to do it, man. I think that since you know MLB 17 is in its last quarter, probably. Oh, it's, oh, it's November. It's October 31st. That's crazy now that I think about it. So, it's no November, December, January, February. Pretty much in, let's say, four months. In four months, it's going to be March. Right? Or five. Five months. Oh, God. So, yeah, man. It's definitely in its last quarter. But I'm still going to be playing the game 100% up until March. And I like picking up new players. Whenever there's new players dropped in stuff, I like picking up new players. Anyway, let's jump into it. I'm rambling on like an idiot right now. So, what I was saying before, too, was I really don't even know if I want to play this event. So what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying I don't really want to do that last event because, man, man, the grinding that took place in this game was unbelievable. Pretty much every single program I did uh, other than the last two ones, I'm pretty sure I did every single program up until that one. Actually, I didn't do one of the the silver ones. I don't think I did the Chipper Jones one, but I think every other event or e every other program I did. So that took a lot of grinding, man. And just everything else that was involved in this game was, or not everything else, but a lot of things in this game that were definitely a grind and a half. So I don't know, man. Like Pablo. What is it? The 40 wins cumulative? Man, that's maybe the hardest word ever. For me, at least. 40 wins to get this Pablo, so that's definitely going to be a lot of time. And then the Daniel Murphy is 12 wins per entry, so you got to go 12 and 1 at least. I don't know if I can do it, man. I might just buy them. This Pablo, ever since they showed him in the live stream in February, I've been wanting to get this Pablo Sandoval, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to put up a... I'm going to try and save as much stubs as I can so I am going to put let's say 50,000 maybe somebody will see that and be like hell yeah hopefully by the time I get to play this next uh, ranked game a lot of people will accept some of these orders or just take some of these orders I highly doubt every single order I place will be accepted by the time I play this next ranked game because I think I'm gonna play some ranked right after this is done so as long as I could get one or two players in the lineup, I'm fine with that. Man, you know what? I was thinking about getting this Ryan Howard. How do you even get him? Other than in packs. BR maybe? BR obviously pro- yeah. I, I was gonna say obviously probably. I remember when he was going for 150,000 and just saying to myself, when he drops in price, he will be picked up. I kind of want to put some sell now orders up. That people will look at and be like, you know what? I'm taking that right this moment. So let's say 35,000. That's that's a good jump from 31,000 to 31 to uh, to that. This is tough. Tough decisions are gonna be made. If I do this event too, this Daniel Murphy will be a headache to get because you have to go 12 and 1, like I was saying. So there's a big drop off too. Look at that 188. 
to 139. So if I wasn't able to get this Daniel Murphy, because I don't think there's really a point in putting up a sell now price for this. I mean, yeah, there is, I guess, but even if I did just buy this Daniel Murphy, there will only be one on the market going for less than 188,000. Yes, there will be a lot of people getting him still, but I need another second baseman. Junkies, inconsistent ass at second base. I don't feel safe. Somebody accepted my Sandoval order. Thank you. So he is definitely going to be on the squad. That's what I like to see. I'm going to I'm going to have to come back to this. What else do I need? I need some starters. Definitely. That Warren Spawn, you can't even get anymore, I don't think. Because wasn't he... What am I doing? I'm failing. I... Wait, am I? No, I'm not. Wait, I am. That Yeah, that Warren Spawn, you only could have gotten from that... I think it was the previous event, wasn't it? He has some pretty good stats. His windup is crazy, too, because I did face that... What was it? 91 overall? Warren Spawn before the one you get for the daily mission? Look at that, 96 hits per 9. He has a 4-seam curveball, screwball, slaughter, and a changeup. You want to talk about a good variety of pitches, this is it. 93 break 2, I may put up an order for this Warren Spawn. So, one starter. I feel like I need some more relievers or something, man. Definitely, I've been using Rodney and uh, Papelbon like crazy, pretty much. I don't really want to buy Batances or something. Because really the only point of getting Batances or something at this point in time is if you wanted to finish the collection, which I'm probably not going to do at this point in time. This Gossage is nasty. He has the four seam, the slider, and the slurve, and the changeup. Look at those per nines. My eyes are burning out of my skull looking at those per nines. 97 velocity, he can definitely throw it. I may have to come back to that too. <laughs> so what else do I need? I might be alright with Ripken and Hanley playing short for the rest of the season. Even though this Jose Reyes seems to be a glitch, the last two players I, I faced who had this Jose Reyes were hitting lasers. And like, change-ups down by the ankles lasers. I've been looking at this flashback Ryan Braun only because if you've been watching the video since last, last season, when I had the flashback Ryan Braun, I think he was a 90 five in that game and his stats were kind of similar i was destroying everything i saw with the flashback ryan braun he was probably one of the cards i did the best with yeah i can't do that because sandoval is obviously gonna be playing first and ryan howard is gonna be playing oh wait did i say first or third sandoval is gonna be playing third and ryan howard is gonna be playing first yeah i may have to wait a bit before I get this Ryan Braun, because I'm definitely going to use this Sandoval at third base for a while. So, uh, what am I doing at third base? I already have I already have Sandoval, I have Eddie, and Brooks Robinson. I don't even think I need to look in the third base category right now. To be honest, I've been thinking about getting this Ben Benintendi. He was going for a lot at one point. He was going for 200000 or something, because I, I think he was... Was he a flawless reward? No, he wasn't. Was he? I have no idea, but either way, I might do it. Benintendi has those fielding stats, man. Maybe not the arm and stuff, but 81 in fielding is not bad. He can even get it done against lefties, though. 75 power against righties. Chipper has 81. So Chipper has better stats versus righties. Better vision. It's just in the field. Who do you want to get? You want to get a good two-way player? Or do you want to get somebody who's just going to dominate at the plate, pretty much? I think it's going to be Benintendi. Get to save a lot of stubs. I mean, really. You could even make the case that this Benintendi is better than that chipper, other than being a switch hitter. I don't think there's a soul on the planet of Earth who does worse with any Molina card than me. So that's, that's risky. I don't want to have to put up 110,000 stubs or something to get somebody I'm not even going to be able to do anything with. I think the only way you can get this Al K line is the set 12 packs. Which there's no chance in hell I'm going to be able to get him in those packs the way things have been going. Pretty sure this is almost identical to Brooks Robinson. Very good contact. Power is in the 80s and 70s. Vision is good. And a beast in the field. 
Except he plays in the outfield, obviously, but... You know, it's good to have people with arms, man. I've been using way too many players, as everybody knows, with noodle arms. Oh, wait. This is a tough decision. <laughs> I am sitting here sweating, trying to think at the players I should get. I might do it. I might do it. I'm going to put a sell now order up for... Or a buy now order, I guess. Sell now. Right? Yeah. Let's see if somebody will take that order. Still have... Look at this. I still have 240,000 stubs to spend. <laughs> and look at all the diamonds I got, man. I should only be looking at relievers from what I'm seeing. I'm either going to get Gossage or this Raleigh Fingers. I don't want to get this accurately. It doesn't look like... That card is too impressive. That Wade Davis is not bad, but I don't really want to spend 200,000 stubs to get him. You know what I mean? I'm going to put an order up for this Gossage, dude. 62,000, let's say. Because the only way you can get this Gossage is from the postseason packs, isn't it? Which, no way. No way I will be getting him from a pack opening. Is this great? Like, is this Granky any good? I have no idea. His per nines aren't... Too impressive if you ask me. Just has the usual four seam, two seam slider, curveball changeup. Obviously, a good variety of pitches. But I don't think he's gonna be out here wheeling and dealing on the mound. Should I get? I'm gonna get Granky. Why not? I need starters. What other starters should I get? I I've been hearing from everybody that this Arietta is not as good as his stats show. So, I don't really want to spend the 70-something thousand on him. Brett Saberhagen, I remember, in 16 wasn't too impressive. I already have the 93 Hershizer if I wanted to use him again. Burt Belay 11. Is he the one with the... Yeah, he only has two pitches. I would never, ever get this card. I'm going to get... I'm probably just going to get Granky, dude. Why not? Maybe he'll be amazing. You never know. He could be amazing. And I still have 120,000 stubs. I don't even know what to do. I think I've gotten everything. <laughs> I got two starters who I could possibly get. Granky and uh, Spawn. I got Gossage. Ryan Howard at first. Sandoval at third. Hanley still at short. I don't even have enough to get that Murphy. I, I could put a buy now order up for or a sell now. Could I? Oh, no, I couldn't even. Hmm. I might just put an order up for this Molina, just because. Just because I do want to spend all the stubs. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a 500,000 stub spending spree. I do need someone else behind the plate. I do have Mauer. There's no way. No way I am putting Junkie behind the dish anymore. So Mauer in the outfield, I got an order up for Benintendi. Uh, Al Kaline. I'm going to get that Winfield. And I already have Brantley Kemp. Yeah, I don't know, man. I may just put an order up for Molina because I really don't need anyone else in the outfield. Don't need anyone else that's short, I don't think. That Tulewitzki is not even close to worth 200 and some thousand stubs, if you ask me. Not even close. You know what? I'm going to put an order up for this Molina and see if somebody will take it. 108,000. That's pretty much it. I have 13,000 stubs left. There's really no one else I could possibly get. I might need some of those stubs too, just in case nobody takes these orders. And then I'll just be able to buy them in full because some of these players are only going for 5,000 more than the sell now price, right? So I might, I might need these stubs actually at some point if nobody takes these orders but yeah man i think that's gonna do it for this spending spree like i was saying i don't think i'm gonna be able to get all of these players on the squad in the next game because i'm gonna have to wait for people to take these orders but definitely this next ranked seasons game i play will have hopefully at least two of these players but if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below i apologize again if you wanted to see trout on the squad for the rest of the season but i feel like a lot of people aren't even going to remember Trout on the squad once all these new players make the debut. If you are new to the channel, subscribe down below, and I will see everybody in the next video.